Hi everybody, it's Martin with Flick and Feathers again today. And I'm tying a salmon fly this time. Uh, this is the editor, or a slight variation of the editor. Um, very effective salmon fly for Atlantic salmon, but I'm sure it, it works for sea trout and uh, you can also use it, I'm sure, for some of the Pacific species as well. As always, there will be a materials list in the description along with a link to social media and the Patreon page for anybody who would like to support the channel and be eligible for future giveaways. Got a size 6 uh, full of mill magni in the vise but to be perfectly honest you could tie this on anything um, you know it works well you, know, you could tie it down to a 12 or something and all the way up to 2 inch Waddington or whatever now I'm starting I've started some white uh, thread here it's a slight variation or a slight difference from the original fly but um, I think this just makes things a bit quicker and easier the original, basically, it was black thread and then white antron wool over it um, to give a white base. I've tied in my rib, which is fluorescent yellow monofilament. This is £20. And that's about the length of my body. I've left myself plenty of room at the head. I'm going to switch my thread to some 8 or uni in black. Come away. Let's tidy that up. Now, the reason for the white being used is to keep the pearly body bright basically. I'm just using a wide uni pearl. You could use medium if you like. You tie it at the front. Two or three turns. And then just to help protect it. but a super glue on the thread. Then I'm going to wind this towards myself because it's the weakest fibre and I want or the weakest part of the fly and I want the rib to cross the peril in the opposite direction and cut catch in as much of it as possible. Get to my thread. Tie that off. Just move my excess. Put that then for the next flight. And then I can wind my rib. I'm going to take a full turn at the back sometimes it can be a wee bit fiddly just get that set and then four and into the fifth I'll catch that off in the thread for a wee bit of extra grip I'm just going to tidy up that area just take away that extra wax with your thumbnail if there is any Hakko Chinese 
cork. Just tie that in. Trim away my stem. I'm just going to fold the hackle as I wind it. Don't be shy, but don't go crazy either. Um, sort up your own preference, but you want enough blue that it's sort of noticeable. Just fold the tip back, snip it away, and then just going to roll that hackle and tie back. Once it's been fished, it will take that form a wee bit better anyway. Again, a bit more wax on my thread. Plenty of grip. Be ready for the wing. Now, the original was bucktail. I mean, I reckon this fly was published in Trout and Salmon probably about, I don't know, 1988, between 1988 and 91, I would say. And you just never really heard the Arctic Fox back then that much anyway. Um, might have been earlier. So, but I'm using the Arctic Fox here and I'm going to have it like two. I always use your, I just use my last fly as a measure there, but I want it like two hook lengths just to be sure. Oops, just snap my thread. That's not a problem. Just come in. Happens. Two hook lengths. There's a wing. You can help drop that a wee bit with your thumbnail. You can lift it, make sure everything's on top. Trim your butts off. Nice and close, and then come in and tie, tie down into the cut ends and build your way back up. Give you something like this. Put more wax. I've got it. Take my wraps back a bit just to pull all this together. Two or three wraps helps. You can use your thread to help you get the shape you want. That's quite nice, I think. I like that. That long flowing wing. Now, this is a wee addition. I'm just going to take a little bit of angel hair. This is midnight, this colour, I think. It's got a black and pearl and silver. Just a few strands. Just fold it back. A couple of wraps. And I'll just trim that so that it's about the length of the fox fur. Maybe about the, you know, the longest but I angel here might just be coming beyond. The folks think that's nice, that's Last a nice thing. balance. It's just to add some jungle cock to the same. These two. Another 
one's a bit small. Make sure your your feathers are the same. You know if they if they don't match, don't tie them in. Um, you'll not be happy. Just got off of these on. Tie in point. Leave the tag ends long so you can easily manipulate them. Check the length. Fine. And I like that. I like that. I like that quite big eye, eye coming into the wing. That's what I like with an, an editor. Fold it back. Keep your thread tight. Snap away the tag ends. And that's the fly done. It's just a case of a quick whip finish. You can sort of use your whip finish to tidy up a wee bit if you want. So I'll leave my waist. Oops. And then to build a really strong, secure head. Super glue it first. Make sure you're only getting it in the thread, don't touch anything else. Give that a second. I just like to come in dead quick and just cover that up like that. That takes any of the excess glue off, it sets it up and then we can just come in with a varnish, got a nice, I mean you can get a colour coats if you want but the super glue in one, I think, I mean there's plenty, you'll get a nice shiny head. Give me a nice, a nicely finished head there, nice and shiny, nice and hard. So there you go. Hope that was useful. Hope you enjoyed it. That was the editor. Well worth tying some of these up, sticking them in your box. As I said, you can tie them big, you can tie them small. Tubes, Waddington's up to yourself. Singles, doubles, trebles. So. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up below. Tech lens guys, bye.